in the mouth. In the mouth. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. Today I want to talk about what I think is one of the hottest trends going in bass fishing. And that has to do with a Texas rig, but more specifically, what I like to refer to as a finesse Texas rig. So we're talking about small baits and lighter weights. A lot of people are flipping around eighth ounce and three sixteenth ounce weights, which are a lot lighter than what a lot of people are using on their Texas rigs. You know, I feel like anything from a three eighth ounce up to a half ounce is more of the standard size, but I think a lot of people are experiencing much better success when they go to a lighter weight and a much smaller bait. I think a lot of this has to do with the lakes being extremely pressured. The fish see a lot of Texas rigs and if you can present a smaller profile bait as well as a slower fall, you'll generate more strikes. So I want to talk about what are some of my preferred finesse baits. Uh, these are some of the ones that I've been flipping around having a lot of success. And I got to tell you, a lot of these were baits that I started flipping out here on the river years ago for smallmouth. Generally speaking, for smallmouth, I like to throw a smaller profile bait when I'm using a Texas rig. But what I've since found is that these same baits have been working amazingly on both largemouth and spotted bass throughout the country. And we see a lot of professional anglers now uh, in their top 10 bait write-ups saying that they were using a Texas rigged small profile bait. I'm talking two to three inch size baits. A lot of these baits you're, you're going to be using a hook that is a one-aught, a two-aught, or a, maybe up to a three-aught if you can fit them inside of the bait. But they're just smaller profile baits that tend to generate a lot more strikes. So I want to talk about these baits. I also want to remind you guys that if you want to support the channel, please use my Tackle Warehouse affiliate link. It's a great way to support the channel and everything I make from that comes right back to making content for you guys. And hopefully some of these small baits are ones that you have already and you can give a try. So let's talk about these a little bit. Generally speaking, these are smaller profile baits. They don't have to necessarily be a creature style bait, a beaver style bait. These are ones I've had good success with and I just want to point out where and when I like to throw them. So the first one I want to talk about is this little guy right here. This is, if I can grab it, the Poor Boys Erie Darter Jr. This is a little three inch bait. This was turned on to me years ago. Uh, Chad Pipkins, if you're familiar with him, fishes the Elite Series. He actually drew me as my, as a, when I was a pro in the FLW Tour, he was a co-angler. We were paired together and he throws these things all over the place. Now he does a lot of Great Lakes fishing. He's from Michigan. But what he found was that this bait not only worked on smallmouth, like a lot of people think it's intended for, but it also works great on largemouth. And he showed me that day that it worked great on Lake Chickamauga for largemouth. We both had a really good day of fishing that day, and this is what he caught all his fish on. Well, I learned from that, and I have put it into my arsenal as well, and I have a lot of really good success with it. This is a bait that works really well for flipping around uh, docks. I do really well flipping it into holes and in lily pads and at the same time I find that it works really good around uh, lay down trees as well. I like to use it on an eighth ounce head and give the bait just a little bit of gliding motion. Generally if I can get away with it I like it to be unpegged but it does seem like in some situations depending on the cover you have to fish it in a peg scenario. This guy this is the Ica. Now Ica, you got the three inch Ica as well as the fat Ica. Both of them I feel like fall into this category. The little three inch one has been a mainstay for me. You know, we know how well tube baits tend to work. You get a lot of crazy fall out of it. You get a lot of good motion out of it and it generates a lot of strikes. Well, the cool thing with the Ica is that it's a hard body with the tube like tails. So you, can rig it more in a Texas manner uh, and kind of have more of that body to hold the bait onto the hook and you got good flaring out of the tails. It's just a bait that works really well. If you guys saw me fishing on Lake of the Ozarks, I caught several of my fish on this exact one on a white colored Ica. Uh, again, it's a smaller profile bait, less intimidating to the fish and it works really well. 
One that we're seeing a lot of people using now is a bait that's a top seller at Tackle Warehouse, and it's for a reason. This is the little Berkley Power Bait 3-inch Pit Boss. Now, I think a lot of people prefer to use the 4-inch, but I'm telling you, you're missing out if you're not flipping around the little 3-inch. Now, we're seeing guys like Keith Poucher uh, have great tournaments where he's flipping a 3-inch. I know he won the uh, Red River event, Bassmaster Open last year in a little 3-inch one. Uh, it's something that I started using more as a trailer on smaller finesse jigs, and I've gone now to just flipping this around on a lightweight. It works really, really well. The smallmouth on the river, love it. Little tip, put the uh, dye the tips in chartreuse or orange for your river smallmouth, and they find, they find it very hard to turn that down. Along those same lines, another one. This is the Reaction Innovation Smalley Beaver. So it's another three inch profiled bait. This one, very similar to the Pit Boss. You have that same sort of profile, but it works really well in flipping around clear water. I feel like this bait doesn't have the flappers. It has good gliding motion. It really does a good job at mimicking a small bluegill. And it's just another great bait. You know, they call it the Smalley Beaver, I think, because it's a smaller profiled bait but it catches largemouth as much as it does smallmouth. This is the corn dog color, which kind of goes along with what I was saying. Dye the tips in orange or chartreuse if you want some river smallmouth. Last one we're gonna talk about here, little four inch Max Scent, Berkeley Max Scent, the general. You know, I think a lot of people would even consider a five inch stick worm as being a finesse tactic. But don't be afraid to go smaller. Go down to your four inch ones. This is a killer in grass beds. If you've got uh, areas where you've got holes, you know, hydrilla holes or milfoil holes, flip a little four inch worm, uh, stick worm like this general around in those holes and you'll find that you catch a pile of fish. It's a very, very good bait uh, for intimidating the forage that live in those areas. And it's one that I am flipping more and more of. So don't be afraid to downsize your Texas rigs. Texas rig we know is a great bait for catching bass, but we're seeing a lot of additional pressure on our lakes now. And if you downsize the weight as well as your bait on your Texas rig, you're gonna get more bites. I hope you enjoyed this tip guys. If you did, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button. Stay tuned, new tip coming out tomorrow.